And welcome back to Hannity. So this week, one brave member of the Trump administration went into the lion's den over and over again to do battle with the destroyed Trump media. Now, whether he was appearing on CNN or MSNBC, Dr. Sebastian Gorka took the president's message to some pretty dark corners of the fake news sphere, and he came out on top. This is entertaining. Take a look. More people watch Nick at Night cartoons than CNN today. Our I mean, ratings that, are doing just the, fine. I mean, if you want to go no, there, 13, our ratings are doing just 13. fine. You are now at 13th place in national ratings behind Nick at Night, which is at 11. You used that line on Monday, and you yeah. know, it was sort of mildly Tucker amusing Carlson on Monday. Tucker Carlson gets 4 think, million viewers. You barely scratched right, 800,000. In the last nine months, you and your colleagues in the fake news media, CNN, MSNBC, New York no, Times, sir, Washington you're not Post, going I'm going to finish. I'm no, going to finish. Do you know who, who leaked the information? Do you have those identities? I'm, I'm asking you. Do you believe no, that... No, I'm asking you. Well, I can't do answer you know that, who, sir. Do you know? You've seen that leadership from the southern border to NATO to Warsaw to the economy to the stock market. We're crushing it, and he can do that from anywhere. All right. Well, the White House doesn't crush a stock market, but I do appreciate your time. That's Thanks for phrase. joining me it's this a common morning. phrase. It means winning. Thanks for helping me with the common phrase. You're welcome. Crushing it. Anytime. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, a Gorka beatdown. Joining us now, the man himself, the deputy assistant to the president, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Yeah, I just want to point out factually 50 year reruns of Yogi Bear, 25 plus year reruns of Full House are what's on at Nick and Knight that is beating CNN. So you are factually correct, and, and you took it to them, and I'm glad you did. Why did you decide to do it? Because sooner or later, somebody has to push back. We've got beautiful, intelligent women like Kellyanne. We've got, you know, brave professionals like Sean Spicer. Somebody has to be the president's pit bull. And I'm ready. I'm going to take it to them. They had a <laughs> reputation, Sean. They had a reputation. CNN in the war zones, MSNBC. It's gone like a puff of smoke. They have a credibility crisis. Think about what they're doing. They've been in this collusion, delusion for nine months. Not one piece of illegal evidence of any illegal activity and they spin and they spin they're tanking somebody has to make them wake up and I'm glad to help them listen I, I it's something we do on this program almost every night and we're giving news and information that I argue you you really can't get anywhere else and I even watched about eight minutes last night of a CNN program it was so shallow so bitterly partisan so absolutely factually inaccurate that I, I couldn't take it anymore, and I tweeted it out, and people wrote, why did you waste eight minutes of your life? We know it's fake news. But here's the issue. Now we know that there was collusion. There were meetings with, with paid DNC operatives and the ambassador of Ukraine, and information is passed on to the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC. Then you've got the Christopher Steele Russian dossier, money paid out, Russian information given in that particular case. Comey even wanted to hire the guy. There's so much more evidence of collusion on the other side, and nobody else is talking about it. This isn't funny at this point. Sean, they've made a decision. My White House colleague, Andrew Sarabian, he coined the phrase last week, the fake news industrial complex. There's two ways to be successful in your business, uh, Sean. One way is to go after the ratings with sensationalism, with lies, lies about Tony Scaramucci, lies about what Mueller's going to testify. Just spin, 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 so you make minute. more Everybody, money. Everybody's been lied about. They've gone after right. you. They've gone after the first lady, the first daughter. They've gone after even an 11-year-old kid, 10 at the time. They've gone after both brothers. They've gone after Reince and Bannon and Kellyanne and, every, and Steve Miller. And by the way, people that support the president and, and agree with his agenda like me. There's nobody that gets a pass here. They want to kill anybody associated with this president, sure. politically speaking. They have a psychological issue. It really is a psychological issue. They cannot believe that the American people chose Donald J. Trump to be president. As a result, they're in this bubble, they're in this psychological crisis, they're tanking, so they spin, they spin, they want to make more money on ratings, so their corporate owners are happy. The only way to be successful in this so business on the long term the only way is to do what you do, Sean. It's about truth. You say that you're a conservative, but you're interested in the truth, whether it's about Benghazi, Absolutely. the IRS scandal, Fast and Furious. They don't care about the truth. Think about their professionalism or their lack of it. Could you imagine a Walter Cronkite 
or an, uh, Edward R. Murrow having a guest on their show and then after the, the interview ends, in the next panel, they insult the guest when he can't defend himself. That's what Anderson Cooper did this week. Th it was that's pathetic. just unprofessional. Uh, and by the way, use the guy that recently died to do it. Um, yes. Great job this week. This is, that was important. A line in the sand. And it's about time people start calling him out. Good job, Dr. Gorka. Thanks for being with us.